The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is warning about a listeria outbreak. It's linked to peaches, plums, and nectarines nationwide. So far, 11 people in seven states have been infected, and one person has died. The CDC estimates there are 48 million cases of foodborne illness every year. That's one in every six Americans getting sick. In our series, Living Well, CBS's Janet Shanley shows us some steps you can take to stay healthy. I don't want to get sick. A case of food poisoning turned Megan Alardi into a cautious shopper. I got so violently ill, it was frightening. Like, Is that when you became yes. more concerned about your food? Way more, way more concerned. Now Alardi buys hydroponic lettuce from Tom's Market in Warrenville, Illinois. Greens grown in water instead of soil. Why do you buy hydroponic lettuce? I buy it because it is grown in a controlled environment. I like it. There's no pesticides added. There's not a million people touching it and messing with it. Ilardi used to buy leafy greens and bagged lettuce. Number one on Consumer Reports' 10 risky recalled foods list. Linked to illness, outbreaks, and recalls. All of these foods can be contaminated with dangerous bacteria like Listeria, E. coli, and Salmonella. Food microbiologist Sana Mujahid took us behind the scenes at Consumer Reports. So bag lettuce has been through a lot of steps uh, before it gets to you. It's grown on the field, it's taken to a processing plant, it's cut up, it's bagged. So there are a lot of chances for contamination. The same applies to pre-cut fruit. You should buy it and then cut it yourself. Also on the list, cheese and deli meat, ground beef, onions, turkey and chicken, papaya, peaches, melon, and flour. If a melon's rind is in contact with contaminated irrigation water, when cut, it can transfer to the fruit. Experts say to avoid bruised onions and produce because bacteria can enter and cause gastrointestinal issues. For the immunocompromised, the consequences can be serious. More than 3,000 die from foodborne illness every year. It's important to follow good food safety practices. Hello. To reduce risk, you don't have to give up these foods. Experts say just be aware of recalls and prepare with care. Have a good day. You too. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Warrenville, Illinois.